Tell you what, let's give up on tags for a while and get back into doing things like identifying people based on their faces. Now we're going to need some more stuff. So tell you what, go up to the word import on the pull down menu and go down to files and folders and go into your exercise folder and you'll see a chapter four and here they are right there. Go ahead and say get media. You don't have to change anything else. We now have another folder. We have a three and we have a four and these are primarily faces obviously. I took these at a party a year or two ago and basically I want to identify these people. So the first step is press control A. Now come down here and say add people. That's going to analyze them and we will be asked a series of questions. Kind of like who is this? So if I come in here and click here, I know that's Paula. Now if you've used the name before, it will be there for you, which I like. This I believe is Susan. This one I know is Samantha. And this guy, his name actually is Ted. And this handsome guy with the weird hat on is me. Okay, so we've identified all of those people. Incidentally, you can also download and update your Facebook friends list to name people if you want to do that. I'm going to click Save. Okay, now the next thing is, okay, are these people all the same? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. How about these? Yep, they're the same. So it's using face recognition, which is actually pretty cool. It's trying to identify the faces. Click Save. That is not Ted. So if we come over to it and click here, we're going to say not Ted and click Save. Of these images, are there any others that we need to work with? Now that is not a face, neither is that, but this is, and this is a face, and that's my sister-in-law, and that's a face too. So let's click Save. These two we don't want. Now we're back to identifying. I get in here and type in T, and it'll remember Ted, so that's going to be easy. This one is my sister-in-law, Patty. I think that's John. I'm going to make that up and say John. This, of course, again, is Ted, so all I have to do is click there, and this is Samantha. Okay, click Save. You have labeled everyone in your selection. I'm so happy with that. So let's go ahead and click OK now, and let's go into People. Now, this is really so cool when you look at it. It's giving us stacks with all of these different people in it. So let's go in and open up one of them, Paula. And you can see if you scroll across it, I'm not dragging. I'm just hovering and moving. It will show you the images. Double click. Now, if we go into, let's start with this one. Double click and open that one up. Well, it's got those two identified. Perfect. Let's go back to the grid. And let's look at this one. So Susan got Susan, got Paula, but it didn't get Ted. So I need to mark that. They're very close together, so that's a problem. Click Mark Face. Okay, it's going to give me a box. I'm going to grab this box, not Susan's box, and put it right about there, and come down here, and type in T, and it'll give me Ted. And then say, yep, that's Ted. So I've got him marked. Now, if you don't want one marked, you can click the little X button right up there. Let's go back to the grid again. Let's see this one right here. And that one it got. This program has actually gotten better than when it first came out. It's better at recognition. And what you're doing here, again, just doing one more thing to help identify people within a particular photograph and create the stacks. Let's go back to the grid to make it work for you. It's a great way to help out an organization.